What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. This one is about my little Aptasia problem. I had picked up some of these peppermint shrimps from my LFS. This one I picked up from Sea Creatures and uh, I was curious to see if they were gonna work. Every time I go, I waste money on these dang things and they never work for me. I was telling them that these things never work. I have a big Aptasia problem. I want an expensive ass laser can't afford a laser so uh i had to go the cheap route um some of you were saying add seven add eight add ten add a bunch of them at a time and what my lfs did was he was like all right he got a piece of aptasia that he had in his frag tank he dumped it in the thing where these uh peppermint shrimps were at and the ones that were going at it at immediately after the aptasia i told him i wanted those so he bagged them up separately, he put them in the uh, thing, and I told him, you know what, I want all your peppermint shrimps. So he gave me all the peppermint shrimps, and these things are finally starting to do what they're supposed to do. You can see these on this rock, I had put the pallies in there last night, and uh, when the lights came on, they were still going at it, and uh, not only do they go at it, they were cleaning up this whole rock. That's why you can see all this little white stuff all over the place. I have been pretty tempted to add these little cleaner, these little uh, peppermint shrimps to the 180, but instead what I'm doing now is all my little rocks that have the Aptasia, I've just been painting in my 20 gallon long frag tank, and uh, these guys have been going at it. You can also tell, you can also see that their color of them has turned more like a red, I don't know if that's normal. But when I got them, they were more like clear, see-through, but for sure they've gotten older. So I really didn't like these stupid uh, peppermint shrimp, but you know what? They're not so stupid anymore. They do work. But the thing is when you buy them, and if you have a problem, you gotta tell your LFS store to throw some Aptasia in the uh, peppermint shrimps. Whichever peppermint shrimps go after the Aptasia, those are the ones you're gonna want instead of wasting your money. So that's what I've been doing guys, I've just been moving rocks over that are full with the Aptasia. I haven't fed this tank at all, I haven't thrown any brine shrimp, any meat, I haven't thrown nothing in here. I've just been throwing in these little rocks that I have problems with and these guys have been going at it cleaning it. This tank actually has like two more uh, peppermint shrimp um, and in this tank I also have an emerald crab and that emerald crab has actually been taking care of the bubble algae for me so things are looking good for this little tank now for the 180 I do have a whole bunch of peppermint shrimps in there I don't see those guys doing anything at all probably because they get fed um, with my fishes you know but in this tank they're not getting fed so they take care of the problem for me. so it's very cool it's real nice when things start actually working the way that they're supposed to do you can see these guys just walking all over the place taking care of any little Aptasia, tiny Aptasia, these guys have actually been doing good. So that's why I don't want to move them to the 180. They're active. They don't care if the light is on. You know, usually you would think that these guys work at night, which I have seen them do it, but they're so hungry right now that they're even working during the daytime. Now for the 180, I'm actually doing something different. My buddy Enrique brought over some Bergia Nudie Branch um, these guys will eat Aptasia. You can see those little white fuzzy things right there that look like a slug, like a worm type of deal. Well, those guys will eat Aptasia, but the thing is, that's all they eat is Aptasia. You can see them, they're nice and fuzzy. These ones, they're really expensive. So shout out to Enrique, he hooked me up. Um, I was actually looking on Reef to Reef on the forums. I was looking to where to buy them. They would say I, I needed about approximately 15 for a heavy nudie branch uh, for a heavy Aptasia problem. Um, I would need at least 15 of these uh, Bergia. But I got three of them for free from my buddy. And I'm going to go ahead and pit these guys in the overflow because uh, I'm going to let them get settled in. And hopefully they multiply and then they wipe out all of the that I have you can see the little guy that little white guy right there moving around 
It's pretty funny because I also forgot about this mangrove tree. Um, this mangrove tree has been inside of my sump. It's underwater actually and uh, it's still doing good. I'm actually going to fix that because I totally forgot about it. So you can see that little neuter branch walking around uh, with this little antenna sticking out. Hope he destroys some Aptasia. I put them in the overflow also because I know I have Aptasia in the overflow on this overflow and my other overflow. So there's a little bit of a closer look. It is nighttime and uh, you can see it a little bit better. But these things are expensive. Um, so I'm really thankful that I got hooked up for these. On another trip, my buddy Enrique brought some more Bergias. You can see a closer look at them. Uh, they're really cool looking. And uh, this one, this sucker is huge. He was telling me that when he got them, they're really tiny, but you can see that these are nice and healthy. They're doing really good. And I'm gonna put these in the opposite overflow where I have even more Aptasia. Um, the other ones, I did um, have to check my filter socks because they were in my filter sock. And from there, I put them inside of the tank. Uh, my buddy Enrique also brought me some seaweed, this different kinds of seaweed, red. He bought me the regular green one. And he's letting me borrow his uh, bone cutters. These are really nice. I had some different bone cutters. Couldn't find them. And uh, these ones are pretty sweet because I'm going to cut some uh, sticks, some SPS. Um, I did give uh, Enrique a few frags that I had. I had a big plate of Mystic Monopora and I gave it to him. And uh, he gave me this uh, Innovative Marine al Algae Grazer. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this uh, algae nori that he brought over for my tanks. That way the tanks can't just rip it up and make a huge mess in the tank and it's held up by a magnet also I know that the snails will come up and take a closer look and they'll probably go ahead and uh, eat off of that too so as soon as I put it inside the tank you can see all the tangs and all the fish took an interest at it especially my nasal tang uh, this little guy when I got him is was little and now he's a, a big dude loving the algae so shout out to my buddy Enrique for that and uh, it's pretty cool um, most definitely gonna check it out and all the other fishes are coming to it as well so also I wanted to say I appreciate you guys telling me the tank looks pretty good you know but I want to show you guys a little bit of a problem that I am having and that is uh, some cyano I have a little bit of a cyano issue and uh, even in the dark you can see it right there it's nice and uh, dark purple and I'm going to go ahead and start taking care of this stuff. I haven't been running any carbon. I haven't been running any GFO. I've just used, been using my algae turf scrubber, my protein skimmer, and uh, my algae reactor. Or should I say my chato reactor. Now speaking of my chato reactor, I was getting ready to clean it. I was expecting a huge thing of uh, chato. And I was pretty disappointed because I only had little, very little bit of chato. And the reason why is because the reactor, the acrylic was dirty. So the light wasn't um, passing through. It had algae all over it, like hard algae. I had to take it out, rinse it out real good, clean the inside real good, and reset it. So the whole time that I thought my chato was growing real good, it wasn't. So, oh well. And also my, uh, since I did mention I'm not running any GFO or carbon, I am going to bump up my vinegar dose. Um, I actually dose um, distilled vinegar from Walmart, the great value stuff. And that's a form of carbon dosing, like bio pellets, but it's with vinegar. So I'm going to bump that up so I can get a darker skin made. And uh, I may go ahead and put a reactor on that I have and run a little bit of GFO. Not a lot because I don't want to kill my sticks. Um, but so, closing out the video. Thank you all for watching. Shout out to Enrique for hooking me up with all this nori. Uh, he he said he was just going to bring over the Bergias. But shout out to him for hooking it up. Really appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care and subscribe.